a faithful servant of God, did not hesitate to sacrifice his own son for the Lord. God said to him, this is my part of our agreement and I'll make you the father of many nations. The sacrifice of Abraham was great. will provide you with the lamb. Jacob Jacob, the son of Isaac, who was running away from home after securing the birthrights of his, of his brother Esho, received assurance of safety and refuge for the Lord. One day, when he was sleeping, after a tiring journey, in his dream, he sees a great vision. He sees angel protecting him and a stairway to heaven. Jacob firmly believes When he is awake from sleep, that the Lord was there and builds a memorial dedicated to the Lord. I am the Lord, the God of Abraham and Isaac. I will give to you this land on which you are lying. I will not leave you until I have done all that I have promised you. Genesis 28, 13 to 15. Moses, whom God chose for a very special purpose, to deliver the Israelites from the Egyptians. One day when he was out in the burning bush, he receives a great promise from the Lord. Moses was called to lead the Israelites. Moses was scared and afraid and did not know how to speak. The Lord said to him, So go, and I will be with you and tell you what to speak. I'll give you the words to say. Exodus 4 verses 12. King Jehoshaphat A blessed king of Israel always stood for the living God and strongly condemned, condemned idol worship. He was strictly against any kinds of idol worship. He followed his father's way. The Lord was with Jehoshaphat because in Jehoshaphat's young life, he did the good things his ancestor David did. Jehoshaphat did not follow Baal's idols. 2 Chronicles 17.3 David a lovely, lowly, and humble shepherd was chosen as the great king of Israel. This small boy David dared to be courageous and defeat the giant Goliath with one stone. The Lord 
does not need swords or spears to save his people. He is victorious in the battle and he put all of you in our power. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 47. Daniel, a daring devotee of the living God, lived a very faithful and loyal life. He was a captive in with King Nebuchadnezzar. In the courts of King Nebuchadnezzar, he dared to say no to the royal food offered to the idols. He was obedient to the law. you strong. I'll help you and I'll support you with my good right hand. Isaiah 41 10. Peter. disciple of Jesus Christ who was dynamic and called as rock by Jesus Christ often. Had to follow, had to face many trials and was doubting Jesus Christ several times. Peter who asked Jesus if he could walk on water and as soon as he started walking he was very happy but the moment he he understood that he's, he, he, he started losing his faith he doubted God and he started sinking Peter had to be assured by Jesus on several events to have strong faith. After Peter and Jesus were in the boat, the wind became calm. Then those followers in the boat worshipped Jesus and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. Matthew 14 verses 32 to 33. A faithful martyr who sacrificed his life for the law. He was daring to speak in front of the crowd. He addressed the crowd with courage. He knew there were Jews, there were Gentiles who were waiting to kill him. But he stood for the law and he dared to speak. The crowd was provocated and then began to throw stones at Stephen and killed him to death. But the spirit was helping Stephen speak with wisdom. His words were so strong that the Jews could not argue with him. Acts 6 verses 10. Paul, one of the faithful and greatest disciples of Lord Jesus Christ, on his missionary journey had many tribulations and trials to face, but never doubted God's assurance. He had several hardships was stoned, was beaten for the law. We know that everything God works for the good of those people that love Him. These are the people God called because that was His plan. Romans 8.28 
Thank you very much.